Next up, I'll wash your car. Bell's bondsmen use code words to free women from jail in exchange for sex. Bell bondsman Russell Moncrief is now in jail. Investigators say he abused his power with clients and now he's amongst some of them in the jail population. Attorney General Ashley Moody made the announcement on Tuesday saying he abused his power, offering sex to female clients in exchange for bond. It's Florida of all places, so you know a Bell's bondsman is down there printing his own money. How booming could business possibly be that you could really offer sex as an alternative payment method? Will that be debit, credit, cash, or coochie? A Florida Bells bondsman is behind bars after authorities say they uncovered a years-long scheme where he would pay to get women out of jail in exchange for sex. You always pay for it in one way or another, right? Russell Bruce Moncrief, 75, of Moncrief Bell Bonds is facing charges of racketeering and human trafficking. According to the Central Florida-based Metropolitan Bureau of Investigation, the investigation began in 2021 when victims of a local attorney busted for human trafficking, John Gillespie, told authorities about Moncrief's actions. One victim said Moncrief paid her bail and the two went to Gillespie's home where they had sex. A 178-page probable cause arrest affidavit said, Whether it's true or false, this definitely gives us a black eye in the bail profession. I'm going to preface this by saying if this is what he did, then he's dead wrong. It's illegal and unethical. But you didn't have to go to jail either. You didn't have to go to jail knowing that you didn't have two nickels to rub together. You didn't have to bring him into your situation knowing that you would have to agree to his terms. What did you think was going to happen? That he was going to put his money up, come get you, take you for ice cream, and that'll be that? If you knew the code word, then you already knew what it was hitting for. A former inmate told investigators how women in the Orange, Osceola, and Brevard County jails talked about Moncrief bonding them out for sexual favors. It was so well known that the women would use certain phrases with Moncrief such as, I'll wash your car or I'll clean your house. That was code for them offering sex to him, the affidavit said. Almost all of the women were vulnerable and Moncrief took advantage of that detective's allege. I just want to get out. One victim said, I'll wash your car. I'll lick your eyebrows and you don't know what this entails. I'll do whatever favors you need me to do, one said, according to the affidavit, and Moncrief is going to take you up on that. Many of the women were addicted to drugs or involved in prostitution, cops wrote. Moncrief allegedly would pay their bail and then take them to one of his homes or offices where they would have sex. If the women refused, Moncrief would have their bond revoked. Cops say Moncrief is a goddamn savage. That's the only word to describe it, but a deal is a deal. The majority of phone calls he receives from inmates are females desperate to get out of jail, cops wrote. They said his personal cell phone was only taking females' phone calls. The female inmates tell them they are willing to do anything or beg him for help. Although these female inmates clearly do not have the required 10% collateral for the bond, Russell Moncrief entertains them and agrees to bond them out. When a male inmate calls him, Russell Moncrief discards them and tells him to call his office. Yo, that's bad. Stop. You surely don't get a conspiracy charge or a racketeering charge unless they have some kind of proof. The attorney general says if convicted, Moncrief faces up to 125 years in prison. What makes me curious is how is he always the go-to guy when you know how he gets down and if you have multiple bails bondsmen in the area and you burn one, if you skip out on bail for one, they can flag you and share that information with the other bails bondsmen. Maybe he's the only one that would come get these people. You don't have 10%, no problem. You don't have a cosigner, no problem. We take Coochie as collateral. Per the affidavit, law enforcement was first alerted to Moncrief Creep's alleged crimes as far back as 2011. Good God. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement, FDLE, received a tip from a fellow bondsman. Oh, he's no fellow at all, who said he heard from clients that Moncrief would loiter in the parking lot of the Orange County Jail and solicit females for oral sex in exchange for bonds. The affidavit said, if you're going back to 2011, we in 2024, that is a lot of, what do you want to call it, favors. The tips further stated that the activity had been going on for years. FDLE forwarded the complaint to the Department of Insurance for further investigation. It's not clear what became of that investigation. Investigators also say they've caught Moncrief in the act with women at motels, restaurants, and other places in public before allegedly crossing the line 
with his clients. That definitely sounds like one of his Bell Bonds competitors saw how he was getting it and rang the bell on him. I mean, it's Florida. There's more than enough criminals for everybody. The defendant used this position as a Bell Bondsman to prey on women in the criminal justice system. Bang, bang. After bailing his victims out of jail, he continued to use his power over them to sell the women for sex to others for his own financial gain. Now, that's dead wrong. I joke, but this is very wrong. Working with MBI, we uncovered this sickening scheme and we will prosecute the defendant on human trafficking and racketeering charges florida attorney general ashley moody said in a statement agents raided mount creeps offices in orange brevard and osceola counties over the summer he had a pretty established business going on here they also tapped his phone and conducted surveillance on him the affidavit said cops arrested him tuesday and took him to the seminole county jail where he remains without bond and that's insane that a bell's bondsman can't bond out there you have it, kids. Russell Moncrief making Punani valuable again. Tell me what you think.